We're not jerks, we don't curse. John Cena wins! John Cena wins! John Cena wins! John Cena wins! Celebration, Grime Nation! It is I, your most magnanimous host, Grime, out of the hospital, and here bringing you another Grime's Great Raw Review. And let me first address my medical apparatus here that the doctor has insisted that I wear, and he's informed me that my videos were too long, and that could potentially affect my health. Therefore, I am now only going to do raw highlights. I am not going to say, hey, guess what? The gold dust and stardust beat Ryback right again. That's not important. Nothing really happened there. Uh, so I'm only going to focus on the good parts and the bad parts, but really, the important parts. And obviously, fix my, fix my headpiece here, obviously the importantest part is John Cena is your new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Woo! Anyway, he came out and celebrated and the authority came out and we're like, yay, we like you. And I like the authority. I think they're amazing. And I believe them when they say that they think John Cena is the man. And as a gesture of goodwill, they have put John Cena on the cover of WWE 2K15. Now, as you know, Grime Nation, I don't play these video game things. But I have challenged Grimm to a match in WWE 2K15 this October, whenever it, it comes out, so I must undergo training on how to actually play this video game device thing, so stay tuned for that coming this fall. But moving on, John Cena is on the cover, as he should be, but the authority has put him in a match at Battleground, a fatal four-way against Roman Reigns and Kane and Randy Orton. Now normally, I would say, who cares? Because it's John Cena. He overcame the Nexus. He overcame the Wyatts. It doesn't matter how many guys you throw at John Cena. He's gonna win. But this one strikes me as a little bit weird. Because couldn't Kane just lay down real quick and have Randy Orton pin him? And then Randy Orton is the champion? That I'm crying foul on that, Grime Nation. That is some nonsense. Sweet sassy molassy. It seems like Rusev has finally decided to move away from being racist Rusev. Trademarked. Last night, he went face to face with the weed smoking Jack Swagger, who is kind of a wasty waste, but that's okay. And I guess this was a Jack Swagger face turn? I, it seemed really weird to me, but I guess he's a face now, so wasty waste. The inspirational Bo Dallas came out and wanted 60 seconds of silence for Bad News Barrett and Daniel Bryan being injured. One of those is bad, and one of those is good. And this disrespectful crowd could not give him the silence that he wanted for this segment. What are you doing, WWE Universe? You need to respect the inspirational Bo Dallas. And speaking of bad news, Barrett, one of my favorite guys who always brings you the bad news, he separated his shoulder, kind of like my injury, but less severe, and he's going to be out of action, so we're going to have a Intercontinental Battle Royal at Battleground. Mother flip flop Cesaro, what are you doing? You had that awesome coat and you had that thing and you did the Cesaro walk and and now you're wearing a bathrobe? Like why are you wearing a bathrobe? Son of a biscuit eater, we had this great moment last night where they decided that you, if you don't have the WWE app, need the app because they ended a match during the commercial. And if you didn't have the app, you didn't see it happen live. Now they, they recapped it afterwards, but you needed to have the app to watch the match, and during the commercial break, this is a genius move from the WWE. Alright, Grime Nation, I take serious umbrage with the next thing that I saw, and that was the WWE advertising, and make no mistake, it was an advertisement for some kind of alcoholic beverage on the PG show. You can't tell me that kids aren't going to watch that and want to drink that, uh, what was it called? Uh, Twisted Tea? Twisted Tea? I'm sorry, that is an alcoholic beverage not meant for your core audience. It is shameful 
that the always hilarious Santino and that wasty waste Adam Rose, of course that wasty waste Adam Rose is promoting this alcoholic beverage to children. Mr. Rose, you are the ultimate wasty waste. Now tonight was a night of many returns. Many returning superstars on this episode of Monday Night Raw, but clearly the greatest return of the night is the great Kali is back! Yeah! The great Ka- Oh, I shouldn't- Alright, my, my doctors have warned me against getting too excited about the great Kali because he is amazing and he came in and he smacked Damian Sandow in one- I'm sorry, Mr. McMandow in one move and it was great. But speaking of wasty waste returns, I guess The Miz is back and I guess Chris Jericho is back. I suppose if you're gonna bring Chris Jericho back, stick him in a feud with the Wasty Wyatts, and then I don't have to pay attention to it. Because obviously, after that long and protracted feud with the Wyatts and John Cena, who came out on top? That's right, your champion and mine, Jonathan Cena Esquire. And I guess AJ came back and won the belt, but I really don't pay attention to the Diva stuff that much, so Wasty Waste. Alright, Grime Nation, moving on to the main event, it is John Cena and Roman Reigns versus Randy Orton, the face of WWE, sometimes, and the Demon Kane. Now, I know what you're thinking, Grime Nation. You're thinking, wait, this show ended up with John Cena getting beaten down. Aren't you upset, Grime? Aren't you sad? Well, here's the thing. It's not a pay-per-view. It was not for a title. John Cena is still your World Heavyweight Champion, your WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And John Cena, if you have paid attention, won the match. Disqualification on the other part of the other team, John Cena won the match. That's the important part. How Raw ends is not always the most important thing. The most important thing is that John Cena is your WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And at the end, they tease a cash-in with Seth Rollins, who still needs to fix his hair, get a professional, professional haircut, and, uh, stop wearing his Matrix latex clothes, it's creepy. And, uh, Dean Ambrose, of course, being the waste of ways that he is, came in and interrupted Seth Rollins, but that's okay. Uh, Dean Ambrose, for once, I am appreciative of you and your blue jeans, Gene Ambrose, uh, because that means that John Cena is still your WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And no matter what happens on Raw, that is the most important fact that you need to remember. I pose this question, Grime Nation. What is 5 plus 5 plus 5? It's 15. 15-time 15 champion Jonathan Cena. And that was my Grime's Great Raw Review highlight as part of Grime's Toy Super Duper Show. So make sure... Tune in to this channel for more awesome videos, more awesome raw reviews. I will try to keep them poignant and pointed and, you know, shorter. Because my doctor told me that I have to. So until next time, Grime Nation, it has been nailed. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, tweet, tout, retweet, Reddit, Facebook, Foursquare, Instagram, Telegram, Sonogram, and Carrier Pigeon, the undisputed action figure champion of the known universe, it has been nailed.